All right, there's a reason I have the leak detector out. Remember this B&W from the video just prior to this? Well, I'm gonna show you the evaporator leak, but I looked up uh, labor for this evaporator, 20.7 hours. So you have just the part, or you could get it with the expansion valve and the O-rings and they have a whole kit. Let's go to the kit again, let's get back there. And we're going for this right here, the front includes expansion valve and O-rings for the front and that's $1,065. So parts, $1,065. Labor, $196 an hour here, 20.7 hours, that's $4,057. Receiver dryer, I couldn't find a part number for the receiver dryer. Remember I told you before, there is no condenser up here. This is a glycol heat exchanger with a plate heat exchanger off of the compressor. Get that fact really straight. You gotta understand these because these are becoming more and more prominent. So, I don't know if expand, um, b and might not sell this receiver dryer by itself. You might have to buy that whole plate heat exchanger assembly with the expansion valve. And that's, if I remember from an accident job I did about a year and a half ago, that was almost $500 for that assembly down there. So that would be another $500 on here, plus the labor, say another, you have to, you have to drain, you're gonna be draining and purging the glycol system because it has liquid glycol um, coolant going into the plate heat exchanger. So you have that procedure, materials, plus the unit. So you probably have, with labor and everything like that, you probably have another $800 right there replacing that item on top of the $4,000, on top of the $1,000, I have my diagnosis here. So I have another almost $200 just to find a leak. Then to recharge it, it's YF refrigerant. And so the recharges, this will be almost another $500 on top of that. So we're, we're approaching north, going into the $6,000 for a leaky evaporator. So that's just cause of a leaky evaporator. Let's come over here. And this is the same shop I had that Audi. Um, I don't know if I did a video on that, but at this shop, they had an Audi too, a leaky evaporator. And I can't remember what else I found with the AC on that one, but that was a $6,000 job. And uh, they had to do that one. So now we're doing this one up. Oh, you already can see, yeehaw. I didn't even start up the vehicle yet. Let's see if. We got refrigerant just coming out the vent. I, I don't gotta go any further than that. That thing's just taking off. So if I did uh, turn on the vent. Let's get the face here. Oh, oh, shit. I blew all the refrigerant up there. I didn't have it on face vent. Oh well. Don't have to go any further than that. We're gonna start the sucker up. That's. Okay, let's see what happens here. Let's go max AC. And, oh, it did engage. I thought they would have a safety in dis disengaging. Now remember, this is a variable displacement compressor but it does have a clutch. The clutch did engage and it is working. So I only have enough refrigerant in the system to just test it. I'm not even going for test for functioning or anything. All I did was put a vapor charge of 50 or 60 P PSI in there because I just wanted to, I'm not going for full function yet. First, we got to okay this near, just going to be like a $6,000 job first. And, um, before we go on from there, we have to see if we could get this assembly and then we'll go on from there. But right now it is, it's operating, it's circulating, it's doing its job, so that's all I wanna know. But uh, yeah, this is what a $6,000 evaporator job looks like. All right guys, I'll see you later. Uh, B&W 740i, 
2017. See ya. Oh, by the way, if you want to see what software this is, this is, I can never pronounce it. Let me get it out here. C Y T K. It gives you times and it gives you prices. So we go back to this BMW. We go in here. Evaporator. There we go into parts and labor. Right there. Go search. Evaporator core. Any day now, and there we go. There's our prices and our labor. All right, guys, I'll see you.